Aging is really about exploring the next chapter of your life. It's a time for reflection, a time to experience great joy, new learning, new relationships. That really is what the Hebrew Rehabilitation Center is about. We're really trying to redefine the aging process in promoting living your life. You'd be amazed how many residents here in their 90s are lifting weights, are riding the bikes, are walking the hallways, are taking dance classes. They're, they're active and they want to be active. The focus is really about independence, finding what brings value and meaning to the individual. One of the greatest joys for me about working at the Hebrew Rehab is the opportunity to form just invaluable relationships with the different people who live here. One person in particular I can think about is Pat Koritz. We really formed a nice relationship and I really, I had a deep affection for her. My mom, Pat Koritz, loved her family and we loved her unconditionally. Some memory that I have of my mom is like, you know, the first snowfall, to so just go outside and take a walk and just let the snow hit your face and just enjoy, enjoy life. So it was about 11 years ago that my dad moved into Hebrew rehab. He had Alzheimer's. My father had been at a couple of different facilities and the minute we brought him over to the Hebrew rehab, we just saw a change immediately. We could just tell that this was the right place for him. It's colorful, it's bright, there's flowers out. It just feels like there's a lot of life to be lived there. When my dad got sick, I think my mom sort of fell apart. I mean, I really think that's what happened. So we moved her to Hebrew rehab, so my dad and my mom overlapped for a little period of time. We have a lot of residents here who are well in their 80s, 90s. Today we had a resident who turned 102. When Pat came, she was in her 60s. My mom couldn't walk when she moved there and was wheelchair bound and her quality of life had diminished substantially. And within, I would say no more than a year, they rehabilitated her back to being able to walk. She was dancing and singing and had this social life and would go out for dinner with people. I mean, it was remarkable. Pat was a regular at all my programs. She's not Jewish but she was very spiritual and from the get-go she came to services and Pat would always come, she would sit in the front row. I am the lowest point on the Earth's surface. This is Mayor Diane knows. The Dead Sea. Yes! The mitzvah makers are 40 to 50 children who come once a month to both teach, educate, play, entertain our residents. Jenny, you won! What do I do? No prize. Nothing. Okay. And whenever Pat knew that the mitzvah makers were coming, she was so excited because she made every child feel like they were the center of the world. The nurses would, you know, they would adjust to what my mother's needs were. And for us, knowing that, you know what, when we're not there, they were there protecting her. You know, fulfilling people's needs, holding their hands and looking in their eyes and making them feel important. They honor every single resident. I think in honoring Pat and also in honoring the other residents to live here, it's really about getting to know their story. You find that way in. It's important that the individuals who work at the Hebrew Rehabilitation Center, who are taking care of the residents who live here, always respect the individual and what brings meaning to that person. It's just a great environment to be in, to work in, and I think to live in.